Number 43. Pure iron metal can be produced by the reduction of iron 3 oxide with hydrogen gas. And then we have letter B. So this one, it says, what will happen to the concentration of each reactant and product at equilibrium if more Fe is added? Okie dokie. All right, so Le Chatelier's principle, right? We're shocking the system. We're, you know, in this case, adding more iron, and we need to basically come back to equilibrium. What's going to happen? Well, the first thing is to identify where this is coming from, right? In this case, we're adding more iron. So... I'm scanning through the balanced equation, and I'm adding more of this guy, right? This is the iron. But I notice that iron is a solid, right? And back to letter A, remember when we did the K expression, we canceled this one out. Now, generally speaking, that if you do add more of something, you have way too much of it, and you will shift to the opposite side. But... With Le Chatelier's principle, you only have to worry about all of the rules for concentration if they are aqueous and gas. Mainly because only aqueous and gases are in the KC expression, or any K expression. This is a solid. So this is not in the equilibrium expression, right? It's not in the formula. So what's going to happen to the system if I add more of this? Well, since solids have nothing to do with equilibrium, there's literally going to be no effect. So you could add as much iron as you want, right? The concentrations will not change. The masses might change, but mass is different from concentration. So you're basically increasing, you're adding iron, but what you're doing is you're adding mass, you're not adding concentration. And since it's a solid, it doesn't matter. So we could say that it's no effect, or you could say no change. Or if you want to list all of these and say no change, no effect, that's what the answer is, right? Because they say what will happen to the concentration of each reactant and each product. So for Fe2O3, no change. H2, no change. Fe, no change, H2O, no change, or no effect. And that's it. So, easy peasy, guys, what do you think? This one was easy. All right, so that's part B. I think we got a few more parts for this, this question, so hang tight. Le Chatelier's principle is fun. I will see you all in letter C. Okie dokie, bye-bye.